everybody. Well, we're having one of those telephone conversations and um, gillian has been talking about Belarus aren't fitting into everything. Um, and on the computer, you can see that they're not following everything. And obviously, I actually feel with every country that's got harp and all that, they're all in on it. But Belarus isn't. Um, more countries need to stand up. And what were you just saying about Trump? Uh, well, I was listening to a show called um, Tinfall Hat, and these guys are the ones talking about, um, Bel or, you know, this country that didn't do the lockdowns, and they were saying that the president has come out and said that the UN tried to bribe them with almost a billion dollars. It was like 900 and something or other. Yeah, that's it. They've um, all been paid off, haven't they, the countries? Yeah, carry on, Julian. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, oh, yeah, no, I was saying that Trump's, he thinks that he's got control of the CIA back. And... What, we'll Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> all that lot? <laughs> um, well, that he's starting to, I don't know, but... Yeah, right, okay, he's a deep fake as far as I can see, but carry on, Gillian, because I like your story, carry on. Um, oh, I can't remember what else was it. Well, I'm not. I'm not for Trump, but they're suggesting that. Um, all right, you've got this ruling elite crew, which which took all the manufacturing pretty much from every country and put it in China, and they they're the ones they like. They made China. They they took communism to China back. You know, because this is like World War Two stuff. So we're going back what 50, 70 years or something. Yeah. Um, and and so it's that fraction that wants this new world order totalitarianism stuff. And they were saying that... What that um, sounds like, totalitarianism, like Tartarianism, which we did a little bit talking yeah. about. We'll talk about that in a minute, but carry on then. And when they think that... Um, well, they're saying that Putin has recently again kicked out the Reserve Bank. Um, and what this ruling elite crew wanted was a world war um but none of no, nobody you know ukraine none of these countries were going to play a part because they knew they knew what they were trying to do and so they think that they've kind of had to just roll out this well something went wrong thing. something went right. wrong in that when we were yeah. locked down no, I it said doesn't that. have the water back it up um and so now they've had to you know plug all the leaks so i guess they have to Whereas if a war had been out and then they bring out, you know, and then a virus, then it seems to go a lot smoother because people are more complicit. You know, the government gets to take more power off the people and it's just sort of... Which is happening. It's just, it's just easier to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, but not as easily. That's what they were saying. Like, they're struggling in a few places. But anyway, it, it appears that Putin, there's a crew trying to go, against, you know, against them. Um, and... They're thinking that maybe Trump's a part of that, um, and maybe even China—not not the communist China, but the original China, like the Buddhists and the Tibetans, the ones that used to run China. Yeah. Um, so it's like there's two fractions in every country. Yeah. Like, and and Trump, uh, we're not sure what uh, fraction he's part of, Italian. Um. um we're not quite sure, a like, is he... Line, I'd say, different family, you know, I don't know. Yeah. And it's the, I, it's, it's the, it's the banking families. Oh, oh definitely, yeah. yeah. They were doing it all. Um, yes. I mean, you have your royal families, and they sort of, I know they're into bread, but I don't know, there must still be fractions of them. Yeah. So then basically within each country there's there's uh two fractions like uh one for this whole uh like the new world order and then one that's not for it if I'm understanding it right. Yeah, because no one who wants to be taken over? Because if you join in that new world order you're all part of one. And it's a bit like we've had with the this is what I never understood about the European thing. You've got say say there's say there's you, me and Amy and we're now the New World Order or the European Order, you know, the European whatever it was. And then basically when we go for voting, 
I can go, I don't want it. But if you two vote against it, that's it. I've lost. So how do you have any exactly. how do you have any rules or how does it work? It doesn't work when you're in part like that. That's true. The thing is, like like they're gonna try they're trying to bring in the communism sort of thing all around the world. Yeah. So that, um, I mean that world, um even well, that's what I've been you know, saying. That's the very word I've been using because that's what it, you can only yes. have six people in your house. What is it? What yeah. is it? Even, their business how many people I have here? Even the medium rich and the, you know, super rich, but not the ruling elite, but, you know, even the rich, they're going to lose everything if this communist stuff comes in because that's what happens in China. They, they confiscate stuff off business people and put them in jail. Right. You know, um, with no trials and things, and that sort of, and that scares the shit out of these. Even though, like, our business guys, uh, I mean, they're corrupt, but this is even, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I think if, you, if you're not in, in the crew that's making all, all the rules, then it doesn't matter how much money you have, you're stuck. So that's right. why I think perhaps it's two fractions now. Wow. Not because they're trying to save the world. It's because they're about to be put in the same basket we're in. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah, see. So now, now we're suddenly on the same side, even though we're not. Right. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they have their, they kind of have their own selfish reasons for wanting to fight it. I mean, it, it might be good that they want to fight, but they're not probably doing it for us, but to save their own wealth or whatever. Yeah. 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 But that's going to benefit us because now they're on our right. side again. Yeah. But right. They're not on our wow. side. They're just... <laughs> I don't know. That's what I think is going on. That, that's really uh, fascinating that, that you um, found that information, Jolly, and wow. And, well, um, also, we heard tonight that Sweden are also opening up everything and they're not following the rules either and and maybe oh, common gosh. law was some kind of communism but where the people were had a place in it whereas the communism they're offering the people don't have a place in it yeah yeah and i, I don't I, I don't i'm not advocating the world health organization i i think they're corrupt as well but they have and so this is where you want to use their information against them, and, and, and it's not coming out in the media, but the WHO says um, they don't um, back the lockdowns. The only reason they said to do a lockdown in the beginning was to give you enough time to get all your medical facilities together, organised, but once that's happened, there, should, you know, there shouldn't be these kind of lockdowns. Um, that, that masks don't don't work. As, as, well, you know, the, the artist said that she's worn hers and she's had two panic attacks wearing it. And I mean, that's how it makes yeah, me yeah. feel because I can't breathe properly in it. It's like, you know, like as you get older, you have to wear glasses. Oh. And when I started going up and to London, I felt a bit disorientated because you've got to read things quickly. You've got to be on ball. I've never been here before. And wearing glasses actually disorientates you a bit, just like this mask. Yeah. Well, this is the, the best bit is that it's not as potent as first. It's not that potent. It's right. only a little bit more stronger than the regular flu. Right. As in death count wise. So why aren't our countries now quoting this stuff? Because they They're can't. They can't the go back on this stupid stuff they've done. Mm -hmm. Well, right. they can, but they won't. What, because you mean suddenly we get, we get Trump going, oh, we've made a big mistake. It's not a very big planademic after all. <laughs> <laughs> All we've got is deep fakes of them. <laughs> and also, all these countries... Like, all the, the ruling elite are like 70 years old. They have no idea about this technology. None of them wanted anything to do with cryptocurrencies or digital or any of that stuff. Now they're all saying that they're going to make their own. Um, but they're too late. They don't understand. They don't just, they're getting usurped by a new generation of people and they didn't they didn't move along with the technology they stayed behind and I don't know how they're going to catch up they're talking ethereum I thought it was no. a metal but it's actually a platform 
Um, oh. And, and it's better than um, Bitcoin because you can do all sorts of things on there. It's, it's, um, wow. And I don't understand any of it. And it's all when you talk, you've got to get into the finance to even learn this sort of stuff. Yeah. Reading and I don't understand any of that. Yeah, I'm not too <laughs> sharp on that myself. But... I'm short in the market and all this stuff. I'm just like, what? I thought you just <laughs> sold stocks. But no, it is another world altogether. Well, mm-hmm. and then then Jillian, you had heard that Trump had um like infiltrated the CIA. Is that the right word? That I... Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I think but he, yeah. Um, infiltrated the FBI and taken back some control. Mm-hmm. Um, and they did give an example. Remember, for life. I mean, what it is? It will come to me later. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the reason why he infiltrated it, you don't remember exactly. Uh, the cabal. Because there's so the many cabal. But yeah, the cabal. You know, really. Yes. Oh, does it have to do with um, Snow? Is that when he took it back? And the Hillary Clinton thing? Um, it, 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 that may be, yeah. I don't and remember the either, but something to do with all of that, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that sounds about right to me. Wow. Yeah, no mm. reputation. Remember when it's not your country, and these are all people like you don't. Oh well, know, right. <laughs> it is my it's country, like, and I don't even keep it all straight. It's so much. <laughs> Yeah, because the, the narrative's changing nearly every day. Yes. Yeah. So there is, you know, I'm, I'm, there's a little bit of hope that yeah. Plan B, and Plan B is never as good as Plan A. That's right. Been anywhere near of time. That's um, right. Maybe that's the way they're scrambling in some places, and it hasn't gone as smoothly. And people right. are, no, that's because the planet. Right. Well, the, the upper class are waking up, which is what I've said all along. We need them to, because they're the inverse of the ruling class. We're making down tools, but if they're still administrating, then it still happens. So if the administrators now go, huh, even the money, like the Keynesian um, economics. You know I'm something, I have to tell that. you this, like, there's a, oh my goodness. Anyway, no, carry on. I'll just carry on. Well, we're under a Keynesian economics, and that's where you have this inflation and things. Sorry, carry on. Yeah. Well, I was just saying that um, there's a lot of people now, like if you want to call them that, who are looking into, what, especially starting to say that this, um, they don't want to get rid of democracy or anything like that. We've never or, had um, democracy. They've just told us we have, but we haven't. Or, um... Uh, I guess the, <laughs> we have. But what do you think? You know, um, free market or capitalism? Uh, capitalism, that's it. Yeah, so they're not against capitalism or any of that sort of stuff. They're just saying we don't. It's, it's not working the way that the experts from the past, you know, said it's it's going to work. It's, it's just it's not working. Mm-hmm. It's wrong. I don't reserve bank or even the national there. I don't think they're all doing a very good job. Um, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to repeat what I... I mean, I understood what they were saying. I right. just um, mutual all this sort of stuff. Like, oh, uh-huh. they're just, uh, yes, that's, that's com- for me, that's complicated, all the economics. Uh, you're the good, you're great. Well, I think it's about if you, um, if you, keep, if you keep the... It will trickle down to the lower class. All, all that cocking. Right. Um, yeah. But this is proving that it, it didn't. All the money that they're that printing been, hasn't trickled in. I've been looking up Belarus, and to be honest, okay, there's the 15th of September, but most of these go back to May, June, where they decided that they weren't getting involved or it wasn't happening. It's got the 9th of May, the 10th of May. You know, they're not like October the 10th. The last one was yeah. September the 15th. 
So yeah. I wonder, I wonder where they're getting this information from then, because it's obviously something that they've been doing all along then. Um, um, yeah, and the fact that the UN tried to bribe them, right? Like, that should be international news. Yeah, that should be a little bit of news. Yeah, why aren't people you know, up in arms? Why aren't people up in arms about that then? Because that's awful, because we already know by about one reporter, except in the Middle East, except she was changing sides in the middle of the programme, but she lost her job with CNN. I can't remember her name, because what she found out was she thought her document... Well, this is what she said. She thought her documentary was going to be aired, but they left the most important part out, so they played a documentary, but not on one part of CNN. And then she's going on RT News and telling them that... Um, basically that the news is bought each country buys the news so it's a bit like they go oh can you make this news for me can you make this news for me so maybe it's the media that's changing then because they've been doing this for years making news for each other and you think what so can you make news that we're going to war can you make news that we're happy and we're all on the beaches or whatever it is and they pay for the news well that wasn't new that was about 2000 and whenever she was 2010 so that is being yeah, going on for years. Saying, one of our, pr our prime ministers, I think it was Rudd, came out on a video I saw today, and he was saying how all our media, most of our media in Australia, is owned by Murdoch. Um, and mainly his point of view, he was trying to because his his political party is the one that Murdoch hates. So he's coming from that point of view. But in my in my Queensland state, they own a hundred percent of our media, and so yeah, it's. Nothing we get is is like you know is isn't even even side to the story. It's, it's all um, coming through that Murdoch. Yeah, yeah, and he's running it a lot. But they say they think that um you know he still keeps his empire running because it gives him political clout. Um, even though he's running at a loss because no one reads hardly reads a newspaper anymore, or yeah. uh, because he wants to put out his his biased opinion. He keeps it running just so that he can do that. The yeah. financial place should be, you know, it's insolvent. It should be shut up. But he's got that much money. He can just keep plowing into it. Yes. Well, and then these other guys, it's really, you know, it's 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 Bill Gates, it's George Soros, it's a few other people um, right at the very top that want to be king of the castle. Exactly. Well, um, when you were talking about a uh, war, that uh, sh they would have preferred to have a war and then uh, bring the, have the virus. But um, I was watching a video that uh, I think Karen had put it out, and it was a, a Swedish man, and he's really good at, um, for, um, somehow he knows uh, how to... Um, figure out when there's going to be like a or something, and um, he had gathered, I think it was um, October, either October 23rd or 24th, he said, that there was going to be a bit like, oh. <laughs> um, wait, can you hear me now? Perfect. Awesome. So, this man, I, it was a little, no, exactly, if I can explain it perfect but um he got wind of this um event that they like a false flag somewhere in the world but uh it was to take place either october 3rd or october 24th whatever he's not worked up with or whatever he got information out that kind of a an attack or whatever it's not gonna be real but it's gonna be something up really big and because uh, of his warning, they pull it off, and that was their ideal plan, according to this man, that they would um, have like a false flag type event that would that would have some kind of major kind. It's to do with that one. It's to do with Ola, whatever his name is. It was out the Ola. other day. Yes, I was just today. It's that guy. Um, that was real or foiled or whatever, this uh, false group maybe even brought in a war, if not some major conflict, that, that was their ultimate plan, but since it didn't just have to go with the plan B, which was, uh, you know, uh, with the, the uh, corona. Uh, and this you know. to hide a financial crash that was going and yeah. 
to take over, you know, more one world order, you know, more totalitarian. Yeah. Yeah, so to, to but that does out, sound yeah, a bit yeah, like Tartaria. Yeah. We've been to Tartaria. Yeah. We're into that. I like, said it was a good place. Why well, wouldn't have had just as many rules as we have now? That's a good also, point. Also, me and Julian were talking last night, weren't we, about the fact that there's the Ottoman Empire. We're wondering whether that's the end of Tartaria because 1925. But how can you have all this there if you had Tartarianism? You can't have a whole system that was there thousands of years if Tartaria was there. Well, so it's all a bit bizarre how they've... I think Tart From what I understand, the, the original Tartaria is Russia, like near Moscow. Like Then it, like Rome, I guess, had other countries that were a part of it because they were all different nationalities, spoke different languages. I mean, if you believe in different beings, then there were even different humanoids. Wow, like this Elon, is um, small people and just showing places so, that they're locking up on the picture here. It's definitely, the North England is being locked up. So when I think when you, I don't think you can think of just one people. You know, like if you think of England, yeah. you think of white people, you think of Africa, you, think, you know, you, can, you think, yeah, so different. This seems to, yeah, it wasn't a country; it was an area, like that they controlled or maybe they were aligned with, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it could, uh, could have been over many different areas, maybe like dissolution or... Um, but in but, of these eras, does it sound like there wasn't a, a king, a, you know, a something? A yeah. Tsar, you know, king of the right. castle. Wow! Yeah, uh, yeah. Good kings and bad kings, good rulers and bad rulers. That's yes, that's possible. Yes. Because again, you can't mention it, you know a country and think it's. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's a mystery. Right. Do, you yeah. think, um, do you think we've said enough about this whole yeah. for the video? No, uh, no, just thank you for bringing all that to light. Uh, fascinating and, and really some good news, I think. Some hope, maybe. <laughs> Let's be hopeful. Well, yeah, there's a lot going on, so... Yes. But that is uh, really fascinating, so I'm so glad you shared that with us, Jill. Well, yeah, thank you. And, um, yeah, another little video formation and stuff. Yes. Yeah, we're not even sure why I was now because it just doesn't fit into the hero. That's not right. Today's not right. Thank you very much for that. And I've been playing, I've been putting stuff on about Bruce in the back. Hey, a few of them are like the end of. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, thank you, yeah. ladies. And there must be some paperwork out, out about what, you know, about their prime minister or whoever the head of their country is coming out and saying that. The UN tried to bribe them off. Well, I think <laughs> Sweden you know. doesn't want it all either. In this world. We were being told today. Yes. Yeah, Sweden just lets the people, like, they've given them the information. It's up to them to what they do is they can wear a mask. They don't, they don't. They right. want to stay through, from each other, they can, if they don't know. Right. Yeah, it's just a bit different, they Sweden. Them like so it's another like country adults. that's just, just a whole site online. I can't get the ads off quick enough. They just keep appearing. Anyway. Uh, um, thanks being, for that. And we're anything being treated else? like children. Yeah. Like I said to my mum, you know, if I if the healthy people can't get out and help the sick people, what? That doesn't right. make any sense. That's right. Well, who's going to help the sick people? Who's going to help yeah, the sick? Yeah, the healthy people are locked up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, for the recording. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, ladies. Mm. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>